Uh, good day dear chess lovers, Zorin here and in today's video I want to share with you a fantastic and at the same time complex chess puzzle with which we are going to torture Stockfish 14 and Lila Chess 0. On this puzzle two Soviet chess composers worked, uh, Yuri Darogov and Alexander Kazantsev. Kazantsev was also a science fiction writer and ufologist. This was first published in 1970 in Soviet chess magazine 64. The task is to draw with the white pieces. You can pause the video and try to find the solution. Uh, meanwhile, let me tell you that since my uh, laptop is not that strong, we will test Stockfish and Lila Chess Zero, which are running on Chessify's powerful cloud servers. Here we go. You can see that Stockfish has reached an enormous speed. It goes over 1 million and 100,000 KNS speed, right? This is fantastic, guys. But still, even so, we don't have a positive result. I was hoping that Lila might see the solution. Lila might come up with the best defense. But again, we see that uh, chess engines are still really bad in solving these type of puzzles where they have to form a fortress. Ok, now the solution. Let's first see what are the engines suggesting. Knight e4 in both cases is the first choice, but that's not good. Of course, you can prolong the resistance, but the line which we are going to cover gives white an easy draw. Knight d7 is engine's second choice. Both engines are suggesting knight d7, and yes, that's the move. First, we are playing knight d7. We are attacking black queen are taking under control these two f6 and e5 squares and we're also threatening g4 checkmate that's why black is moving away his queen from c5 with the tempo and is announcing a check from b5 minus six this is crazy guys but now i will show you how to draw this position black is announcing a check and we are putting our king on c1 and now still this g4 threat is hanging in the air, right? Also knight d4 fork is the threat and black has to be very careful. The only move which saves black is e5. Both engines are suggesting e5. Now you will see how I'm going to draw. And now a very important move which both engines can't see. They are suggesting g4. Yeah, this is not good. These moves are definitely losing. This is crazy, guys. How on earth can they miss the powerful c4 move? Uh, another attacking move. We are attacking black queen. Leaving black queen with two retreating squares, b7 or, or, or a6. Well, it doesn't matter where will you put your queen, you know. Let's put on b7. Both engines are suggesting queen b7, with which the queen is also attacking white knight. And now we are landing another heavy punch. What are the engines suggesting? Knight f8, g4, g takes f4. What are you doing, guys? The best move in here is knight d4 check. We are sacrificing our knight. And uh, black is forced to accept the sacrifice, right? Yeah, there are no more moves. Uh, it takes d4. And now what? Only now we are playing g4 check. Yeah, now the engines can see g4 check because other moves are losing by force. g4 check and the only safe square for black king is on e6 and now, and now yes, knight c5 is the move. Because again the other moves are losing very quickly, that's why they are suggesting knight c5 check but again the evaluation goes terribly wrong minus 21 what are you talking lila chess zero i'm going to draw this position knight c5 check forking the king and the queen and black is forced to accept that sacrifice as well and now we are making king c2 move okay at this point oh sorry let's go quickly through the best line okay at this point already uh, we have a fortress what? By sacrificing both knights and then and locking up the position, white managed to form an impregnable fortress. Black has an extra queen, but there is no way to make use of it. Now we're playing king c2. In order not to allow black to penetrate white's camp, you know, uh, b2 and b1 squares are successfully guarded. And turns out that in this position, black can't make a progress, there is just no way out. 
What if queen b4? Will this give black anything? No. If you try to sacrifice your queen, then this leads to a draw. Uh, even a3. You can even play a3 and this leads to a draw. Uh, okay, what about covering some other lines as well? After king c2, what else black can play? Black can, for example, try his luck and uh, intrude inside white's camp from uh, e3, right? For example, here, here, and queen e3. Is this winning? No, black can even lose. Yeah, look, it's white who is winning. Black can even lose. That's a silly queen sacrifice, guys. Yeah, it's crazy. We are even winning. H7 and this is even winning. So, not try this at home. After king c2, what else black can play? Well, black can also try his luck and sacrifice the queen on h5, right? Let's cover that as well. Here, still protecting the pawn. It's under attack. Here, here. And queen takes h5. Uh, but again, black can't make progress. King e2, king takes h5. King f1, here, king g2, and this is a draw. Again, black can't make a progress. And now we can even just play f3 check, right? Yes. And this is how white draws. This is crazy, guys. Let's take a look at this fantastic position once again. Black has an extra queen, but there is no way to make a progress, no way to win. White's fortress is impregnable. Earlier I've already published a similar chess puzzle with a similar idea. It was composed by Smyslov. Try to uh, draw with the white pieces. The task is to draw with the white pieces. And in case you fail to solve, I will pin the solution in the comment section of this video. The solution to this puzzle exists on my channel. Thanks for watching, hope that you enjoyed this great chess puzzle, we would like to ask you to share with your friends as well, let them know about this beauty and as usual we'll see you in my next video, take care.